Hello and welcome to another installment of Let's Play the Black Mirror 3. Last time, Adrian successfully made it through the portal and grabbed Mordred's book, but in the process, he accidentally finished off the incantation and is now fully possessed by Mordred. Uh, Miss Antolini showed up and said she could help us break the curse. It turns out she actually works for the Vatican. So we attempted an exorcism with Father Frederick, which unfortunately backfired really badly and father frederick was killed so now we're trying to figure out how to um perform the exorcism successfully which requires getting down uh to the actual black mirror location so we've got control of both of them at this point and uh it looks like something's blinking in the diary let's see if i can read that uh what did what did he write Uh -huh. Okay, I think it's this. Um, that bracelet. Victoria didn't give it to her without good reason. She thought that Angelina would be the next guardian, but Angelina made the mistake of putting it on Miss Millie's corpse. So then it fell straight into the hands of the police. Yeah, so at this point, um, we've got this like little key thingy, this thing, that's supposed to help unlock the portal or whatever to the Black Mirror, but unfortunately it's missing a part. And we suspect that that part can be found on uh, the bracelet that is now in police evidence. So I guess we're supposed to go back and see if we can get it out from police evidence? I don't really know how this is going to work, but we can give it a shot. Um, actually, let's just use this. Willow Creek. Ooh, it is really raining. Can we visit her? I don't want to bump into Joyce looking like this. She's always believed in the good in me. I don't want to shake that belief. Okay. Uh, let's see. God, this way, I guess. Strange. It's never been so quiet here before. Where'd everybody go? Well, I mean, it's raining, so. Adrian! Hello. It's done. Case closed. Angelina's letter convinced the judge completely- Yay! Some good news. A lot more than that. And is there anything I can do for you? <laughs> Man, we got a buddy in the police force now. Redeployment. How's it looking with your transfer? Now that's lying on my boss's desk. And knowing him like I do, he's gonna let me stew for a while. But it'll come through sooner or later. Okay. How about the missing jewel? Now with the case closed, all of the pieces of evidence are no longer required, right? And Barry, not anymore, no. Then it wouldn't be a problem if I got the bracelet back. You do know that it's a family heirloom. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Zach! Hmm? Wow, this is a lot easier than I Please. thought it would be. Damn. <laughs> well. Goodbye. Fare thee well, my lord. It pays to have friends on the police force. Is there anything else we can talk to him about? I don't about? have any further no. questions for him right now. How about this guy? I'll just leave him in peace for now. No, okay. Nothing from anybody. I'm not going back to <laughs> All right, let's see, where is, uh, I guess we can use the pliers, but let's get out of here first. I don't want to do that, uh, in the middle of the police room. Okay, so pliers on, oops, not that. Pliers on this. All right, how do you know which jewel is the right one? One movie's enough. Oh, they all work? Okay, can you just stick it in there? The ruby fits exactly into the socket on the hilt of the sword. All right, and now let's see if it will work. Oh wait, I have to actually go into this. Will you work? Hooray! 
There's a spiral staircase here. I can't see how far down it goes. There has to be a good few stories. Ladies first. Are you scared? Or are you exercising your role as lord of the manor? The guardian isn't allowed to die. Those <laughs> were your words. I'm just playing it safe. What a gentleman. All right. That's supposed to be the catacombs? <sighs> Looks like the sewer system. Patience, this is just the beginning. Oh, goody. Damn. And I thought I'd pulled the plug out of the bath. Okay. Well, it looks like he wrote a lot. So, let's see. Okay. So, we crossed out all of that. Sewer system. We found the entrance to the sewer system. There must be a way there into the catacombs. At least that's what all of the symbols point to. In the sewer system, they're assigned to some kind of cage or maybe an elevator. That could be the way into the catacombs. Okay. Symbols. There are hieroglyphics etched all around here. Did the druids build these walls? A bird relief. Okay, so that's a bird. What's this one? Here's an illustration of a house and a jaw. Okay. Here's a pitchfork and a flower. There's a bird and a head chiseled in here. Ooh. What is that, a fish and something? There's a fish and a hand on this column. Okay. And what's this one? I think that's supposed to be a house or a shack. All right. So it was a house and a jar, and a bird and a head? Hmm. The whole thing could be some kind of cistern. It collects rainwater from all over the castle. It's brought here and then goes stagnant. No, there has to be an outflow somewhere as well. All right, a uh, water basin. In this environment, there can only be a whirlpool. Huh, the water's been standing there for some time. I reckon that's the remains of the water from putting out the fire. At any rate, it's not normal sewage. Hmm. A cage? What the heck's a cage doing down here in the middle of the catacombs? I don't know if we really want to find out. What can you do with it? Maybe let's not. What, what are you doing? Good to know. I could lock up unwelcome visitors in here. It really would have been better to have taken a hotel room. Can we maybe get out of there? Thank you. Okay. A chain? Wait, stop! You're doing this again? Did I click the wrong thing? If my sense of direction's not misleading me, then we're directly beneath the cellar and the chains leading up through the well shaft. What is that? Let me write down. Uh, there's a chain in the sewer which leads down into the water and then up into the cellar. It definitely doesn't have a bucket hung on it. Could it be some kind of drain plug? Well, I guess so that's irrelevant because we already did that. Can you get out of the cage, you goon? <laughs> Why are you caging yourself? Alright, so what are we gonna do then? Is this... If my sense of direction's not... Okay, I don't know why that's not going away. We already finished that. So... Do we need Victoria or what's her name? Valentina for something? That's most strange. What are Pictish glyphs doing here on English medieval walls? What do you know about them? Hmm. Death on its own without any other glyphs isn't a good sign. Well, she does know what they mean. Okay, so the bird is death? Hmm. Okay. Let's see what else she can say. The house in connection with an amphora. Hmm. 
that could mean a storm. Amphoras were used back then like barrels are today. Okay. The house in store. An earlier version of a torch, and I've never seen this symbol before. Which one was that again? I don't remember. Flower or something? A bird usually represents the death of a person. And we've got a head which fits with this. From whoever. So I have to put a head somewhere? The fish is the symbol for the first day after a new moon. With a hand, though, that doesn't make sense. Okay, what's about this one? The house in a circle. That's a new one for me. That could point to a family property or inheritance. Drain. There's standing water throughout the whole drainage system. Maybe the outflow's blocked somewhere. Uh... I doubt that people were locked up in the cage. It must have been used for something else. That... I doubt okay. that people... Can she examine the chain now? Okay, what... what? Oh, I guess we're gonna talk to Adrian. Adrian? Hmm? All right, let's see. Cage. I don't think that's a cage in the usual sense. How come? Isn't it a wonderful torture device, especially with the water? Oh, right. So that's your interpretation of a normal cage usage. <laughs> don't forget, I'm being possessed by an 800-year-old tyrant. That excuses everything, huh? Other exit? Hmm. Looks like we're in a dead-end street. But it can't be, though. It has to continue somewhere. Maybe there's another secret passage. Certainly not out of the question. Keep your eyes open. Okay, and hieroglyphics? These symbols look like Pictish glyphs. Obviously an ancient form of writing. More than 6,000 years old. So, I'm wondering what business have they got being on these walls? Maybe one of my ancestors thought they looked nice? Do you know what they mean? Sort of. But don't ask me how you vocalize them. Okay. Um... What if we... Can he talk to her about anything? I wouldn't know what I might ask her. Okay. Apparently not. A swimming pool for cellar ghosts? I don't understand why that's supposed to be here. So what are we doing right now, exactly? Do we need a, a head and something about a store? Can we actually, like, go to the store? That would be really weird if this was an appropriate answer. Shop's already closed. Okay. Can we talk? Oh, maybe Edward knows something? Is he there? He's good with this kind of stuff. Closed for business. Boo! It's with the that river. must be the Glance River. Why has this point never gone away? Okay, we already called Madame Fortuna today. I don't need anything from the police station. Anything new over here? Doesn't really look like it. Can we go to the hotel or the museum is already closed. Okay, not that. No. Okay. Maybe there are some steps below that lead behind us. Okay, so we don't want to go anywhere. Then let's see. What can we do? Can we go to... The church? I guess Father Frederick is unfortunately dead, so... I don't know if Darren is aware of... Sorry, Adrian is aware of that yet, though. This might be a bit of a shock for him. Closed. No chance.
What happens if he knocks on the door? Hello? No one there. Well, the occupant is kind of dead, so... Anything in the graveyard? Why is there a... Is that a candle? What is shielding that from the rain? Okay, well, there's nothing useful here, so... Um... Guess we'll go back to the castle. Why did he disappear? <laughs> um... Are there any heads around here? <laughs> I guess not. Okay, well, let's go. Is there anything we can do with the well now? Not really. Valentina! Can you hear me? Yes. Alright. Valentina! Yes. Well, that's... Maybe there's something with this. Can we mess with this somewhere? Oh, that just lowers it. Uh, does somebody need to get lowered? Who do we want to lower, though? Can she use the controls? Hold on, put it back up. Oh, she can't even get in the cage, so it has to be her that lowers this. Okay, so let's do a switcheroo here. We need him to go down there, and her to come up here. Back to the library. I, I'm a little worried about this though. I have a bad feeling. Maybe I should save. We'll put him in the cage and then watch, march her upstairs and I'll save. Alright, you just wait there. Enjoy your cage. operate this thing? I hope so. She can. Alright. We're gonna save right here, just in case we drown him. That's too dangerous. I'm not going to know up here what Adrian's doing down there. If he's in a cage, he could drown. Okay. Can we talk to him through the well? Adrian, are you down there? Sorry, you must have dialed the wrong well. Wow, okay. Haha, -ha, you are very funny. Uh, well, so much for that idea. Am I supposed to do something with these glyphs? I don't really know what, though. Edward when you need him. 